Hello everyone, welcome to exam trials. In the last video, we have discussed about the concept of intelligence. From this video onwards, we are going to discuss about different types of intelligence theories. So, let's start today's session. I am going to talk about the one factor theory of intelligence. In Hindi, this theory is known by a Karak Siddhant. This theory is also known by several names such as monarchic theory and unifactor theory. As we know, intelligence can be defined as the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. We all heard the name Alfred Binet who is known as the father of intelligent testing. Around 1911, Stern introduced his unifactor theory of intelligence which has also been known as the general capacity theory. General capacity theory. And this theory is introduced by Willem Stern. Accordingly, intelligence is general or unitary ability which has been labeled as the symbol G. According to monarchic attitude, intelligence is regarded as an adaptability which enables a creature to adjust itself to the changing environment. This is a popular view which regards intelligence as a unitary or monarchic faculty that determines the level of man's achievement in any intellectual enterprises he may take. Through this unifactor theory of intelligence, theory says that we all have common sense or general factor of intelligence to apply in every task. Actually, this theory reduces all ability to a single capacity of general intelligence that is what we call as a common sense. And the psychologist says that this would imply that they are all perfectly correlated and it would make no allowance for the unevenness of the pupil that is abilities along different lines. But this concept goes against the common observation that an individual does possess different levels of different abilities and does not shine equally in all direction. Sometimes we can see that children who are bright in mathematics are often found to be not so good in civics. This makes us to conclude that there is nothing like one single unitary factor is intelligence. Which means that we, we cannot say that intelligence means one single unit. Because in the later years, other psychologists have proved that the concept of intelligence is composed of several factors. So, this became the major drawback for this unifactor theory. But in the later years, psychologists proved that to perform a particular task, people should need some kinds of specific abilities in addition to the general capacities. Only then they can complete the task effectively. An English psychologist, Charles Spearman, proved that People should require both general and specific abilities to perform a task which we will discuss in the next video. So thank you for watching this video. Have a good day.